Greetings from Southern Yankee Homestead. If this is your first time, welcome. If you're a returning viewer, welcome back. We are at 175.2 hours on the mower. At the time you're watching this, I don't know how far into the future it is, but, so I don't know how many hours it's been since we changed out the blades because I'm not looking at the old video. This has been months ago now, or at least a couple months since we changed out the blades. Well, I had the bagger off, so I went ahead and looked. If you look right here, you can see that blade is almost worn through. I haven't sharpened them, haven't touched them. This is just how the blade is. Looks like I caught a string of some sort in there too. I'll go ahead and clean that out here in a minute. We're changing out the blades again. This will be the third set of blades. This set of blades I'm changing out early and I'll show you why here in just a minute. We're actually an hour shy of what the first set of blades are. But let me go ahead and pull them and then you can see. So here we are. These have not been sharpened. And yes, the balance was way off. I'll get you a better view. Well, probably another couple months when we come around to finishing up this video. So these were the Oregon blades, I believe. Let's see if I can find a number on them. This is the good blade and the Oregon numbers are already gone from it. Well, I bet the other three aren't any better. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and tape this up. And that is, how many hours is that? 16.3. 195.8. All right. Now for our final set of blades that we're going to try out, they're dusty because, well, I bought them a while ago. We're going to use copper heads replaces 574-70801 copperhead part number 15 tac 13361 these are what was recommended by our local Husqvarna dealership and as far as I can tell these three sets of blades are the only ones available for our particular Husqvarna there might be more online but we'll get to that at a later time so let me go ahead install these and get to mowing because well <laughs> we're behind on mowing one to weed whack, but the weed whacker died. Give you an idea of the time frame. I still gotta pull that apart too. Well, after a year, this is what our blades look like. This is Copperhead. This is Oregon. This is 810. So in this order, we have Copperhead, Oregon and 810. I started with the 810s. These you can buy on Amazon. They came in a six pack. These I got at my local Husqvarna dealership as well as these. Well, the results are, they're negligible. I have more hours on the tractor on this one, but I think I had less time spinning the blades. But at the same time, the 810s appeared to have held up better. The Oregons, well, you tell me, this is the discharge closest to the discharge chute, and this is the inside blade that gets the least amount of use. These are, and these were the least amount of hours. So in order of hours, we got 16.3 hours on these, 17.4 hours, and 20.3 hours. Like I said, the 20.3 though, that is debatable on that because I did a lot of leaf cleanup and the bagger fills up pretty quickly. So realistically, it could have been about half of that amount. We'll just say a quarter less. So take five hours off it, 15 hours. But if you look at the trailing edges, it's kind of interesting. If you look here, that's a pretty sharp edge on that one versus the stock edge that you can see. So it's worn down pretty good. But if I go over to the 810 or the copper heads, it's a little bit thicker, but not much. And this one is, you know, 
thinner than this one by about half. And this one is just blown away. I mean, even this one is all but gone. Your middle blade is already worn through. Now, because I purchased these over a year ago, I'm going to go ahead and go online and get some prices on these so that you can see the difference of them. All right, a quick trip down Amazon Lane, and I got the prices. The Oregon blades, I was able to find six of them on Amazon for $61.17, which comes out to $30.60 approximately for three, because this was for six. Thirty for three. The 810 blades, also a pack of six, were $86.95. So we're looking at $40, $43.50. Yeah, I'm writing upside down for three. The copper heads, these are not mulching blades, these are the high lift blades. The copper heads were $64.95 for three. So almost 20 bucks more expensive for three blades for the same amount for three blades. So $64.95 for these three blades versus $43.50 for three of these. You have to buy them in a set of six. You can actually buy them in a set of 12 too. And then of course, $61.17, so $30.60 for the Oregons. I also have to say that these blades were used the way I use all my mower blades. I did not take these out and sandblast them. I did not do any kind of corrosion stuff on them. I literally put them on the tractor and ran them how I normally would. And this is the ultimate result. I also want to say that the copper heads didn't seem as high lift as the 810s. The 810s seemed to work a little bit better and the Oregons, I was just, I was disappointed with them overall. They are a cheap blade, relatively speaking, and it shows. They really didn't hold up well. Will not be buying the Oregon blades for any of my mowers in this area anytime soon. The additional cost, the 20 bucks extra for three of the copperheads, I didn't see that big a difference where I wouldn't just buy six of these and save myself money because I'm going to be blowing through these. If you're in an area that doesn't have the sand that we have, the copperheads might be a better deal because you could sharpen these. Even though they're uh, worn, they could still get reused again, sharpened, be good to go. But since, well, every 20 hours I'm blowing through blades, I'm not going to go with some that don't even go, what was that, 16.3 hours. I couldn't even get 20 hours on these. So I'm going to go back to the 810s. That will ultimately be what I run for the foreseeable future. Unless someone in the comments down below goes ahead and tells me I need to try this blade instead. And I had thought about at one point just going up to our local fab shop and seeing if they could take some AR steel and actually build me a set of blades to just see how that would work because I think these are all mild carbon steel and probably spring steel for all I know I don't know but I wanted to I actually want to try an abrasive resistant blade but I'm not going to spend that kind of money to have a custom blade made who would these are just going to go in the scrap bin now anyways so for my money I'm going to stick with the 810s that and I already have a set because when I bought some last year well came as a set of six so I got replacements I'll just go ahead and motor some more now but leave in the comments if there's a blade you'd like me to try if there's something I can do that will help prevent this or if you just want to leave a comment saying ID diddly neighbor any way you look at it look forward to hearing from you now I gotta go do maintenance on the mower I don't know how Hun's gonna cut this I think she'll probably if we got the video she'll probably cut that separate and well yeah bye